And uh, the end of this video will mark the halfway point of the series, day eight, and up to car 64 here. I believe every person who has submitted, every team who has submitted is now going to get a look. Well, everyone's got to look at their first car, and then it'll be another set from each of the teams who submitted of cars coming in the back eight days, and we'll see if they are an improvement or not on the first set of submissions. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. A little long-winded there, but you get the idea. We got a lot more racing to come, but we're hitting that halfway point. We've seen some crazy racing. 19.39 being our big record. Will anyone be able to break it? I'm looking at Diddy Kong right now, and I am seeing a possibility. Very fast out early on here in that lane two. Mach eight, so gonna struggle on the inside turns that are a little smaller, like that inside line right there. But, uh, might be fast out there. Diddy Kong, he's going to whip around that hairpin. Looks smooth. Loses control for a second, but pretty fast. Finish, maybe. What's the time? What's the time? I saw a 19. 19.7? We could have opportunity here. Circuit Special Yoshi finishing backwards. Another backwards finish on Mario and Peach in the standard cart. 19.76. Maybe, just maybe, we have opportunities for some records. And I'm excited to be back with you guys today. This has been such a fun tournament, really, just to see all the different Mario Kart racers and their models and how that is affected on the track and all the wonderful suspenseful moments of times and the play in the back straight where the track opens up. It's been a it's been a wonderful tournament. Let's see who we got here. Denny's is our Yoshi in the Circuit Special, number 57. Creepy Squad is our Diddy Kong in the Mach 8, who's been absolutely dominating so far. Brothers is Peach in the Standard Cart. And the winners, who, uh, well, we'll see if they live up to the name, are Mario in the Standard Cart. So, right now, it's Diddy Kong controlled once again. Again, swapping between that those inner two lines there, two and three. Whips around that second line. Down towards the back straight. Looks much faster than even the first run here, who had a 19.76 or 7.9 to the finish line. A little straighter this time. What's our time? 19, and I don't see it. Maybe point two. 19. Ah, oh, <laughs> the camera's moving so fast. It's still a blur. I want to see the number. 18, am I seeing 18? <laughs> 18, 9, 2, 9. 18, 18, 9, 2, 9. What a record. Our first sub 19. I said it was going to happen, and that it does. Our fastest car by far out there. I said maybe the 17s was possible, and 18.929 is such a number. Wow. Two fives for Diddy Kong, working on a partial sweep, and if we don't have it speedster in the next set, possibly an individual first one of the series. Keep an eye on Diddy Kong. Things are heating up. He might be slower on these next two, though, because this, uh, this next one, when you have those far out lines like those, you also have to deal with the, the two inner ones, innermost ones, and those can be tough on the Mach 8 because they're very uh, sharp turns. So we'll see how he does here. Um... Like, so he's going to get three big outer lines here, but you'll see this is an inner one. So we'll see if he loses speed there. You see, he bounces through, bouncing through, loses speed, maybe maintain some. Absolutely keeping control, though. You can see he's slow around that hairpin. I don't think this is an 18 at all. This is probably more like a 20.4 is my guess. And, oh, wow. Hey, you got to give me credit right there. Pretty close. That was a 20.3. My uh, time sense, not bad. 20.34. And we'll have Peach coming in there again, way behind. 20.34. Can you imagine that? 18.9. And uh, Diddy Kong keeping that partial sweep up. And you know those can end so quickly because, yes, he's a fast car, but what if he trips himself up on the track? As soon as you get going sideways there, accidental spin out backwards racing all of a sudden you can lose out 
We'll see how he does. This time has to deal with three inner lines. I'm not expecting a super fast race. Terrible jump out of the great we, uh, the gate. We got three of the other racers in front. Starts to accelerate here. Inner line took that pretty well, actually, for a Mach 8. Maybe this is not as uh, bad for this racer as I expected. Usually the Mach 8 just struggles to push through those narrow turns. Again, looking pretty good. Kind of loses control there. Has an outside line to run through. Again, I'm feeling like it's slower, though. Turns around there, down towards the fat track. Big lead right now, runs, ooh, bounces through, little leftward, has the hairpin, takes it on the outside line, looks slow. Again, I'm feeling about a 20.2. Oh, that's a 21.3, wow. See, the inner lines, I'm telling you, it, it, it's uh, it's keeping itself up uh, every time. And, and there, I, I'd love to get excited about that close finish from Yoshi and Mario, but it's just that the dominance of the other racers here, I mean of Diddy Kong here, is just overshadowing that. Backwards finish, Yoshi pushes on the outside line, and Mario almost loses out, but she's just kind of spun around there at the end. So we have two advancing, one with 20 points, one with 10. Partial sweep in order so far for Diddy Kong, and we'll see if there's anyone in the second group who's going to be of, uh, of note for the finals. Luis Castro, Wario in a Mach 8. That could be a good combo. Just in case, Daisy in a sneaker. Interesting. Angelo, we got another bad wagon out there with Toad and Cat Diecast, spelled with a K. Nice use of K and Diecast there. Peach in the sports coupe. Interesting. Wario in the Mach 8. Faster of the bunch right now. Ooh, almost bounced through that turn, loses out speed on the Daisy side. Sneaker. Whipping through turn three, holding her own. Sports Coop back in the game. How will the sneaker take to the fat track section? Terribly backwards already. Sports Coop as well backwards. Wario pushing around to second place. Sports Coop trying to find a lane. Toad's even gonna pass by. Wario will nose nudge. And that's a terrible time, 21-2. And that nose nudge will leave Daisy with a first place. I think there's potential for Wario and Daisy speed-wise as far as staying in the 20s and 19s, if they can uh, keep the mistakes less early on in the race, especially the entrance, the transition into the wider track, we'll see. Near side, we got Peach, far side, Toad, and then Daisy and Wario in the midst. Wario, around that first turn, looks slow, but accelerating, booming right out of that turn, and he has a lot of space to work with. Sneaker also finding her way towards second place, closing that gap slowly. Sports Coupe consistent, but not able to accelerate here, loses out there through that third turn. Here comes Wario. Outside line, and ooh, the sneaker's going to give him a run for his money. Here they go into the fat track, and Daisy's in there. Inside line trying to find a gap. She will not have any chance to catch up. Looks like Wario has the speed, turns and blocks well. That's 20 flats. Rounds to 20.1, but a good time. One that could hold up in the finals against Diddy Kong if there's mistakes made. This track is long enough and has a long enough fat track section that even the, if the racer is faster, there are chances for mistakes. Chances for mistakes. And I'm going to tell you what, I think the winner of this tournament is not going to be the one with the record. Because even though you put up a record, it usually is not that consistent. Usually you have some times where you just, uh, you know, you get through the turns less favorably. And again, uh, depending on which lane you're in can even affect how fast you and your particular model can go. It is very inconsistent. You saw Diddy Kong there in the last time pick up something as high as a 20.4, even 21, when he also had an 18.9, just depending on which lane he was in. And so that could have an effect in the finals. And I think with the, the four fastest we'll see in the finals, it's going to be all about the kind of racing and consistency we see in that fat track at the end. Here we go, Wario. Up ahead. Sneaker. Grinding on the inside. A little bit of a shorter car, so it takes those in, inner lines nice and fast. And is going to slot in there. Wario, big lead once again. He's looking fast this time. Maybe a chance to go sub-20. Uh, racing to the finish. We have... A 20 flat again, 20.1 rounded. I can't, I can't get upset about a 20 flat. Uh, Peach is nudged forward across, and I think Toad will follow and avoid another DNF. I can't get mad at a 20 flat. Don't think I can.
final nudge there. Peach got to be happy about that. I mean, I, it's nice to just finish the, the course, even if you know you're kind of out of the running. It's nice to finish. No partial sweep in order. Wario's only got two fives. Last race. It looks like Justin Case and Luis Castro are going to be advancing here. I'm not seeing any opportunity. Maybe, mm, no, I don't think numerically either the other two have a chance um, for advancement here. So it's really just about what are we going to do time-wise? Is Daisy going to prove to be more of a contender? It just looks like there's a struggle there in some of the turns. And again, loss of speed right there. Whips around the outer line. Wario is absolutely killing it right now through three outer lines. A lot of top speed. How are we going to look at the fat track section? Bounces through that final turn. Rolls through here. Almost loses control. Gains it back. Whips around the hairpin. Little zigging and zagging. Little air rolling there. Something. And crosses with a... I saw a 19. And that's a 19.97. And he is certainly a contender in the finals. I don't think air rolling was the term I wanted. Uh, a little rocket league on the mind there, but it was it was a it was a kind of it was a kind of movement that was not on. It was a twisting of the nose of the car that was kind of rolling in a way it wasn't uh, it wasn't normal. But here's the finals, and and you got Diddy Kong back in there who's had a little time to rest. You have Wario in there. You can see the difference in speed already, and that's where I'm starting to be worried about Wario. Definitely a contender, but when you have a car that can get out there and can show an 18 in uh, racing seconds, I mean, this is this is unheard of. I mean, what is it about Diddy Kong who's just so good in this model? Maybe it's just the axles are lubed up nicely, some about it, but absolutely a fast vehicle running out there even way in front of Wario in the Mach 8 gonna whip around here I'm so slow through that turn Wario's got a chance to come back but muffs it and Diddy Kong's gonna finish with a 19.8 with a mistake absolutely wonderful performance oh big knock right there almost like billiards and Daisy ooh, looks like she's pushed crossed enough I think she's gonna get uh, a couple points there Diddy Kong, and I, I can see an 18.7. I can see it. I can see an 18.7. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's, it's definitely guaranteed. I'm saying I can see it. I can visualize the possibility. Diddy Kong, holding pace with Wario out of the gate here. They're pretty close right now. Rounding that first turn, breakaway for Diddy Kong. Oh, big breakaway for Diddy Kong. Wario trying to keep pace, at least in the few lengths there. Around that outside line, he's going to hold the speed he can. Still some acceleration, but Diddy Kong's got it right through that third turn. Still holding his own quite well. How are we going to look at that 10-length lead, 20-length lead even, going towards the fat track section? Wario's trying to stay in there, just doesn't have enough room. He needs a mistake from Diddy Kong. Will there be a mistake? No. Rounding that final hairpin. Big swoop there. That was fast. Control held. Record time yes 18 7 6 and I predicted it and you got it 18 7 6 mark it down and anyone in the comments I saw people being uh, uh, studious down to that fourth decimal put it down 18 7 6 6 3 comment it all I want to see a bunch of them that is a number that I foresaw but didn't really expect. Big number from Diddy Kong in the finals, working on an individual sweep here with two fives. I'm seeing a possibility. Maybe not in this race for a record breaking. He's down already early on, but he has a chance for that individual sweep that we have not seen in this tournament yet. Wario trying to hold the lead and put that dream to an end, but Diddy Kong whips around the outer line. Big lead once again through the inner line. It's still holding on. How is he going to do in the fat track section? He needs to keep himself controlled. Almost runs on the wall right there, but gains back the control. Round the outside line. Slow. Wario coming. Now Daisy. Far side push, but loses control. And that with a 20.5. Diddy Kong is one away from the first individual sweep of this tournament. Wario will cross. So will Yoshi in the circuit special very slowly. 
And now all cars will be focused on just keeping the individual sweep from happening. You know, it's, it's kind of a it's kind of an act of endearment. You'd think it'd be a negative thing, but no. All the cars kind of accept, all the racers accept that preventing an individual sweep is kind of a fun way to keep racers in the game even when the points already point to one winner. And even the one who's trying to get the individual sweep welcomes that kind of competition, enjoys it, makes a fun day out of it. So we'll see if he can hold on. Diddy Kong, terrible start out of the gate. We saw that last time in the previous uh, set of four races. We're out of the gate for this inner line where he has to take three. It wasn't easy, but looking very fast. Now into that third straight, maybe on Wario, we'll see. He's gonna get an outer line as well. How, how are we doing this inside turn? It's all that matters, no acceleration. Maybe the individual sweep is gone. Wario is pushing with everything he's got. Round the outer line. Diddy Kong accelerating, maybe he's gonna be a tangle here down in the fat track. Ooh, gets around Daisy. A chance if he gets inside. Wario with a lead. Big run to the end of the individual sweep will not occur. 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 3 Diddy Kong deserving of the spot he'll have in the finals but unfortunately could not claim the individual sweep a little disappointed for sure but that is the way it goes here at races and fun great competition out there man what a racer 18.7663 what a number that's our first eight to advance and that will bring us to the halfway point. Subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun. But we got that Slanman Customs uh, starting gate and a timer at the end, which has been just wonderful, a new model from them. And so you get a look at it here and how it all works, and it is beautiful, and it is new, and it is more accurate. Four decimal places at the end of our timer. And so really just a, a product worth buying if you are a Hot Wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them. And, uh, well, it's your very own Races and Fun sponsored products today. Slammancustomsagain.com www. They have their own website. And again, their Facebook. I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is, and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing.